All right, the Mountain Man, Colin Moore. What? Why? Why is your Twitter handle the Mountain Man? So my freshman year, um, I'm not sure why but Coach Ryan started calling me the Mountain Man in, in practice and stuff. Because I live in the woods, and he just, I guess, equated that to the mountain. And I, <laughs> I guess so. Everyone started calling me Mountain Man, kind of like poking fun at Coach Ryan, and it just caught on. And then. I thought it was catchy, so I put it as my Twitter handle and just never really never, changed the back. Never looked back, huh? Yeah. Uh, listen, man, I know that this is like, you know, we're we're uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're two days. We're 48 hours out of probably the most dis- devastating news besides maybe a family death, right? Like besides that, yeah. have you ever had a more devastating thing, you know, happen to you, Colin? Yeah, I mean – not, not really. Most of my devastating moments in life have been you know, due to wrestling. So, um, yeah, it's it's just such a unique situation. With uh, there's no one you can really be mad at or like place your anger at. It's just like it's just it's a once in a you know generation lifetime probably ever occurrence. So it's just very unique. Uh, still trying to like really wrap my head around it but yeah it's crazy just talking to zach carson uh another northeast ohio guy ohio university guy um he's in his last year too he's in his fifth year he's had to transfer his one program dropped um yeah and and he's he's not gonna wrestle anymore he's probably done you're in a very unique situation in that you're the top one percent of college wrestling right you're gonna have And I, I said this earlier off camera. <laughs> Hopefully, we know we got four more years, right? We got four more years. We got 2020 yeah. potentially, then 2024. But I'm I'm looking 2028. You know me. I, I love watching you wrestle. <laughs> you still hit the barrel roll in the dump, but you yeah, know that that's the reality of it. Where's where that guy's going to go in, and his life is going to go in the direction of his per- professional career. Your life is going to go in the direction of I'm going to wrestle eight, four or eight more years, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, man, I really feel for those people. I mean, I can't imagine, like, wrestling just being over just like that. Um, so I am fortunate enough to, like, be able to continue. Right? I still have more to do uh, with the sport. So, but that's what I've just been trying to put everything in perspective, just thinking about, like, people like that or, like, just done wrestling. Like, that, they showed up to their last practice unknowingly you know, on that day. And it was just like, I'll get to come back in a few months and, and wrestle and compete again and stuff. And some people won't. So just trying to like, keep it, keep it in perspective and, uh, stay positive a little bit, you know, you know, I look at it. Um, you guys are in such a unique position. They just came out with the, uh, the, the, the dead period. There's this dead yeah. period where nobody can be on the campus, no recruiting. There's phone calls and text messages, which doesn't do any mm-hmm. any good for Colin Moore, who's training for the Olympic trials, which is also postponed, right? And and hopefully we yeah. have that, right? Hopefully we yeah. have the Olympic trials to have an Olympics, right? And and I think you're in a great position um, at 97 kilos. Um, your former teammates, the – is the, the yeah. reigning you know, bronze medalist, the reigning Olympic champion. Nobody knows uh-huh. him better than you. Yeah. You're in a good yeah. position, so, I think. I, I I was I was very confident, you know, going into NCAAs, and that was going to kind of slingshot me into uh, Olympic trials. I mean, me and Miles have just been talking about, you know, we're going to make some noise there. And uh, I think we still will, you know, but it's just it's just a guessing game now of – when, if, like, any of this is going to go down. So, um, yeah, this is – I really don't know what to do with myself right now. Like I said, we're locked out of the room. Like, I don't know where I'm going to train, partners, stuff like that. So I'm I'm actually glad they postponed it because I think we were back allowed in the room as of now and at April 6th. So that was after trials. So um, it's kind of – a blessing that they did postpone it because maybe now I'll be able to get some like solid training in a good room with some partners, uh, leading up to, you know, the biggest tournament (laughs) 
yeah, I've competed in yet. So yeah, and and the other thing is, uh, they're they're locking all you guys. All the RTCs are shut down. All the schools are shut down because every RTC RTCs at a school. There's not really yeah. any private like a box catcher type deal where it was on some billionaire's property. There's not any of that. All of it. Yeah. Every RTC is tied to a school, right? Mm -hmm. The New Jersey RTC is tied to Princeton and Rutgers. Ohio RTC, yeah. Ohio State, Cliff Keen, right? I mean, Hawkeye Wrestling, Nittany Line. It's all, you know, like, but I think like David Taylor has his own facility. Yeah. That, yeah. I nice. mean, hey, <laughs> David Taylor's got his own facility, right? Like, yeah. and here's the other thing. They're talking about putting the Ohio State tournament. Let's just talk about that. I want you to think about this. You, you of all people, what were you? Third, second, second, first? What were your? What were all of your? What were all of your finishes um, at, in Ohio State? I, I did not qualify my freshman year. So you were second, second, first. Yeah, second, second, first. So I want you to think about that. Second, 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 second. No chance at first. Think yeah. about that. You know, and, and, and your, your NCA finishes have been that. Four, you know, three, yeah. four, two, right? It's insane, yeah, man. right? It's, it's yeah, it's it's just taken away, like, um, yeah, I mean, it's like the equivalent of probably just, like, getting injured, you know, just, uh, it's just such a unique thing, you know, not, it's, I want to be, like, mad at someone. I just don't know where to, like, put that, you know, anger or, like, frustration right now. And I don't think it's really set in yet because I think it'll really set in next weekend when, you know, you're supposed to be at that tournament and stuff. And I'm sure you'll see a lot of posts and everything. But I just kept thinking about, like, I'll never have that, that hand-raising moment and, you know, get this, like, go up in the stands and see my family and stuff and sharing that moment with them. I was really looking forward to that. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's gone. So it's just pretty crazy. Where do you train right now? I mean, we talked about this. Moran's got a facility. Coach Thatcher's yeah. got some place that he trains, but there's not a ton of standalone facilities. Like we're talking, like David Taylor has the M2 center. Um, where do yeah. you train and how do you stay sharp for what, what we don't know when the Olympic trials, how do you stay sharp for that? Um, yeah, I think right now I'm just, I'm, I'm probably going to take a week or two off. Um, just like completely just let my body heal up. Like it, like it, I just wrestled nationals, you know, I uh, take, usually take like a week or two off. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, Moran's got a facility. So hopefully the biggest thing for me is training partners, right? I can find a room. I can throw a mat down. Um, but you really need, like, a training partner and a good coach, right? To, I, I mean, that's what I think I need right now. So um, not too sure. I haven't really reached out to a lot of people or, like, I'm sure we'll meet um, with Tervel and some of the coaches here soon kind of map out a training plan um, and talk about some options. But, you know, even, you know, Coach Jordan's got, you know, state-of-the-art facilities uh, over there. So, um, you stay at Coach Bo's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For I mean, bit, you, you know, can stay in the log cabin, walk across the street yeah. to the farm, and then they got the uh – -huh. you, you know what? If you want to get real gritty – Go to the old one where I used to run camp out of. You know, they're like that's where Bo and Mickey yeah, and, and the Rocky. Old, old one, yeah. The old old one is where I went to camp, dude. You could do like Rocky style, dude. Yeah, so running Rocky down Neff Road training, and, yeah. and like get it. Like seriously, you could do that there. Like that that yeah. you know when you bring that up and that's that's an hour away, forty five minutes. That, that's an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it's not like there's no hope, right? But it's definitely going to make things uh, a lot more difficult than. I would like the Olympic trials to be because it's already very, very difficult. Um, you know, especially with the guys in my weight class. So, but just staying optimistic, right? Everyone's in the same boat. So try not to feel too much of a, a why me thing. So everyone's in this boat, right? Everyone's looking for a place to train, looking for training partners, stuff like that. So, uh, just trying to figure it out. Um, hopefully, uh, a lot of the RTC guys, you know, I can I can link up with Miles and Jaden and everyone still. So uh, I think we'll be good. Yeah. Where um, 
where do you go from here as far as what has Tom Ryan said to you? What have your parents said to you? What has Tervel said to you? Jordan, Jaggers, what have they said to you? What are, what are people that are big parts of your life? What are they saying to you to help you get through this, Colin? Uh, just just being there for me. You know, they're just saying they're proud of me. Um, you know, just reminding me of all I've done right up to this point. So, um, yeah, I mean, just just talking on the phone with them, just them just like being there, like there's nothing really you can say. Right. And I feel like the more people try and say, you know, the more I don't want to hear it. So, um, just kind of, you know, being that, that kind of voice of perspective, you know, like I was talking about earlier, just, you know, putting everything into perspective, like, and people actually have this virus and, you know, people have died and, you know, it could get worse if all this stuff goes down. So, um, still very fortunate, you know, to, to have accomplished what I have in my career. And like you said, I still get to wrestle, uh, a couple of years after. So I'm not done. Eight um, years, eight years. Yeah. Eight years, yeah, eight, eight years. years. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm being selfish. Come on. We need you. If the body holds up, I'll do it. But, We'll see. Okay. So sixth year. Yeah. Sixth year, man. Everyone's talking about it. They're gonna give it to the spring athletes. Is this something yeah. that you've thought about? Obviously, you're gonna be wrestling anyway, so it's, you're one of the people I'm talking to. You're gonna do a six year if they give it out. We don't know what they're gonna do there, but you've heard that talk, right? Yeah, it, they've they've talked about it, and um, it's just yeah, it. it it's uh i'm definitely gonna have to weigh some options right it's not it's not a complete hard yes for me right now um to, if i would take it yet so and another thing too is with the ncaa and everything uh i'm in my master's program right now and i'm graduating in the summer so it's like do i have to go to school what would that look like do i have to re-enroll in another master's program or like triple major or what? So Johnny Sebastian, like go full Johnny Sebastian on it. Yeah, I think he's so, in his third degree. I think he's got a master's he? from. North, I, I, I'll ask. Hopefully, I get to talk to him. But I know he's got an <laughs> undergrad from there, and I think he's got a. I think he has two degrees from Northwestern. And is getting a third one from Wisconsin. So you could go full Johnny Sebastian on it. Yeah, I mean, so there, what's wrong with that? There's a lot to figure out, um, and. You know, you, I was very much looking forward to the the freestyle senior level training um, in that part of my life. So uh, we'll we'll have to see what the NCAA says and and what all comes with another six year. Right? It's gonna it's gonna impact a lot of people. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting, man. And I know we're 48 hours, you know, we're from, we're, it was 48 hours ago, right? Yeah. Think about it. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's so wild. Um, What's your family? What's your dad say? I know your dad. Is your dad a two-time state champ for Chanel? Uh, he was a state champ well, for Chanel. I think he just won. Yeah, One-time state won. champ for Chanel. He went to Michigan State. Yeah. So your dad gets this, he gets this level of wrestling. He gets your sacrifice. Your dad really understands the sport of wrestling. I know you got a pretty special yeah. relationship with your dad, but um, wh what have you talked to him about, and how's the, how are those conversations? Um, it's been rough, man. Just hearing like kind of the sadness in your dad's voice is just like, uh, you know, made me break down a little bit. So he was the first person I called um, right after I heard the news, just to kind of tell him. And like I said, he was just you know, kept saying he was proud of me, but I know he, he took it pretty hard. Um, like I said, it's, I was looking forward to sharing that moment with my family and I know they, they really wanted it for me too. So, um, it's just, uh, it's just crazy to think that, you know, it's just, it's done. So they're done coming to Ohio state matches. They won't get that last national championship and everything. So, um, but he's been, He's been great. He's calling me every day. So just kind of 
joking about it a little bit every now and then. So, so he texted me yesterday. He goes, I hope you're uh, Friday the 13th is better than Thursday the 12th. So, no question. Yeah. <laughs> no question. Are you in Are you in Columbus right now? Or are you in Creston? Uh, Columbus. Columbus. Yeah. Are you guys even live in Creston? I know you live out in the country. It's like Burbank, so it's Burbank. The, the school is in Creston, which is about five minutes away from where I live. But yeah, Burbank. We're out in the sticks. Um, it's actually like the village of Burbank, so it's not even a <laughs> not even a town. It's the Listen, village of I'm Burbank. I'm from Martin, so. Ohio. I can tell you where I'm from is probably equally as stickish out in the sticks, man. There's, <laughs> there's not a lot going on in um, Martin, Ohio, Oak Harbor, Genoa area, Ottawa County. There's not a lot. Go- well, during the summer there is because there's Putin Bay and Silver yeah, Point area. Yeah, but sure it's nice by the lake. Yeah, but otherwise not a lot going on. But um, all right, man, I know you got other stuff going on. Or, or maybe you don't have anything going on at all. I don't know. It sounds like nobody's on, got anything going on. Yeah, nothing going on right now. So it's again, it's a unique situation. It's like, what do I do? So I don't, I don't know when trials are going to be. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to take two weeks off, like completely, and just uh, let my body rest and get excited to go train and work out again and stuff. So yeah, but right now I'll probably head home, hang out with my family for about a week or two, and then and then try and figure some stuff out. So, Okay. I think I saw your sister at a Kent State Wrestling Duel. She plays soccer yeah. there? She plays soccer there, right? She, she played soccer there, yeah. Played she, soccer she's there. had about seven knee surgeries. So oh my she's, uh, yeah, she's been done for about a year or two. And then you have another but, sister that ran track in college, right? Yeah, she ran track at Ashland. Okay. So are you the only boy? Uh, no, my, my older brother Kurt. Oh, what? What did he? So everybody who was college athletes. Was he? He um he played soccer at Malone. Jesus, oh, Pete. So all college athletes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if you're. You, I've seen your dad, who looks like he, like just carries weights around all day. Is your mom <laughs> yeah, a genetic does, freak yeah. too? She uh she was like a little farm girl. So she grew up on a farm. Uh, she did. She's coached gymnastics for probably. 20 years um she coached my my little sisters and and my sister and uh like the local ymca team and stuff for a long time but yeah my my dad is definitely the uh has the athletic genes i don't want to mess with that guy i don't i know you got people coming in i know you got stuff going on where are you in columbus right now with who do you live with uh i live with uh um grundy smith oh ethan smith we call him grundy uh, we live with Ethan Smith and uh, Rocky Jordan. So, and then it's fun. So Luke uh, Fletcher and uh, Luke Eli and another guy live uh, right next door to us. So we kind of got like a six-person house, pretty much. But okay, yeah. like a townhome kind of deal. Yeah, it's like it's a little uh, like duplex kind of thing. So okay, it's fun. Man. Well, listen, hey. Do you got anything else for me? I, I Listen, if you, maybe you want to shout out someone. I don't know, man. Like, I know your coach. Is Tom Ryan out breaking a bike right now? You think he's out destroying a bike on the hills? Is, he trying, <laughs> is Tom Ryan out? I like, never know what that man's up to. So he he basically said he was going to travel and take take advantage of the the cheap flights, which sounds like something he would do. So, <laughs> But for him traveling, he doesn't sit on a beach. He'll go – bike somewhere he'll go bike across the mountains or something so he's a crazy man we'll see what he's up to but jaggers jaggers yeah. has no cleveland sports to watch so i don't even know what that guy does yeah he might lose it so <laughs> but we we're talking he's probably, he's probably gonna have uh some guys that are still in columbus over to his house to hang out and everything so uh it'll be fun though and travel has yeah. got to be scouting he's probably up i bet you travel's watching all the stuff in ottawa right now yeah, so um, Desi, Desi is out there. Um, I know he's competing for Canada, but Desi's the man. He's he's super nice guy. And, yeah, I mean he's great. He's so good. Um, he's been such a, a great addition to like the practice room and everything. So uh, hopefully he gets after it this weekend. I think he will. So 
But yeah, Travel's he's always watching some sort of wrestling. So that's what we call a student of the game. Student of the game. What's that? Student of the game. He loves it. Oh yeah. He he's always watching, picking up technique, trying to trying to bounce ideas off people. So yeah, it'll be fun. Awesome, man. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. I appreciate everything you, you, you that you're that you're going through right now. Um, I know that the, the people really appreciate it. But um, yeah. dude, you, 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 it's been fun watching you. You've had an unbelievable career. Sorry it ended this way. Maybe we got hope of that sixth year, but keep grinding. We'll see. I will be at Olympic trials. I'll be calling some matches. Hopefully, I get to call some of your matches. Hopefully, I get to call that final. With, yeah, with, with OK awesome. more in it versus uh, the other Ohio RTC guys. I mean, we got Jaden Cox. And yeah. then, um, obviously, the king is Kyle right now, but uh-huh. we'll see, man. So, hey, thank you for the time. Stick around a little bit here afterwards, and uh, I'm going to shut this live one down. And uh, hold on. Let me let me do this, but thanks for the time, Colin. No problem, man. All right. We're going to – all right. So we got – 